When Jesus teaches his disciples how to pray, the very first words he uses is our Father. This is so significant because it implies God is a relational being who is meant to be understood within the context of family. The Bible says he is the perfect father of every father and child in heaven and on the earth. The father is family with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and he has also adopted us into his family for all eternity. Paul declares in Romans 8 that we did not receive the spirit of religious duty, leading us back into the fear of never being good enough, but we have received the spirit of full acceptance, enfolding us into the family of God. And we will never feel orphaned, for as he rises up within us, our spirits join him in saying the words of tender affection, beloved Father. For the Holy Spirit makes God's fatherhood real to us as he whispers into our innermost being, you are God's beloved child. This is good news because connecting to God is not meant to be merely through a master-servant relationship. He is ultimately inviting us into a familial bond of intimacy, acceptance, and belonging. Adults generally do not have kids to get more workers. They choose to have them as an expression of love and a desire to grow as a family. In the same way, God did not create us and receive us into his family for what we can do for him. The Bible says God is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. This is such a freeing revelation because many people view God as a rigid taskmaster, master, more interested in obedience to the law rather than as a loving father who desires true intimate connection. If earthly parents want loving relationship with their children and for them to be healthy, happy, prosperous, mature, whole and fulfilled, how much more so our heavenly father? Many people do not believe in God. They reject him or have a shallow relationship with him because they have not experienced him as the good father. He is not just a good father. He is the best dad in the whole world. The church universal is meant to represent God to humanity. I believe we are part of a generation that will represent him as a kind, loving, gracious, and compassionate father. May we be like Jesus and declare to the world, let the little children come to him without hindrance, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Bless you to know your heavenly father and introduce him to all those around you.